um, you know, so, so excited uh, to be here in Indianapolis and humbled uh, by the caliber of play that there's been in this organization. Um, I'm also coming from a place that uh, I was really, really fortunate uh, to have been for 14 years. It's, it's sad to see it end, but I am so excited to see what can happen here. Matt Ryan definitely showing some uh, empathy and true professionalism as he is traded from the Atlanta Falcons to the Indianapolis Colts. The official compensation, as you can see here, the Colts received Matt Ryan as the Falcons received the number 82 overall pick in a 2022 NFL draft. Breaking that down for Matt Ryan and the Indianapolis Colts, we want to talk about the pros and cons for both teams. What does this mean for the Colts? And what does this mean for the Falcons? Well, first, let's show you a graphic. Let's talk about uh, the Colts. Uh, what are the pros of them acquiring Matt Ryan? Pros are they are playoff slash Super Bowl contenders. Uh, you could say they could make a Super Bowl run, and I'm not doubting that. They, they obviously can, but they were a tiebreaker away from making the playoffs. So you could say they were a playoff contender last year, but you want to make the playoffs first. Let's start with the first step, and I, I do believe that this could – increase their chances and really help them make that playoff push uh, in 2022. And then the other pro that I want to talk about, essentially lost no draft picks. And let me explain that here in, in, in a little bit more in depth. So you traded away Carson Wentz for a second round pick and a third round pick. And the third round pick was a number 73 overall pick. They traded away their original, the Indianapolis Colts pick that is granted to them every single year. They traded away their 82, their 82nd overall pick to the Atlanta Falcons. So what that tells me is, oh man, you not you didn't really lose anything in the process. As a matter of fact, it ended up being a great thing for you because you didn't trade away the 73rd pick that you acquired from, uh, from the commanders from that Washington uh, Carson Wentz trade. Instead, you traded away a pick that was granted to you that's nine picks lower than that the number 82 pick to the Falcons for a quarterback that many people label is an improvement from Carson Wentz. So if anything out of this whole entire trade, they got an additional, just, just looking at the broad perspective, the Carson Wentz trade and the Matt Ryan trade. In the end, they got a number uh, or a second round pick, a third round pick that is better than their original third round pick moving up nine spots, and a quarterback that is better than the quarterback that they had last season. This is a huge win for Indianapolis in this Matt Ryan trade. Now, with the pros comes the cons, and let's talk a little bit about those cons. You take on $54 million for the next two years. I mean, the Colts had a lot of cap space this season. For the next couple of years, it looks like you're going to be dwindling down. I think right now they're at, uh, I want to say... 15 or 16 million dollars in cap space after that Matt Ryan trade so you're going to have to take on a lot of money for the next couple of years but hopefully in that couple of years you have that window open to where you could make a Super Bowl appearance or so they hope now let's talk about the perspective of the Atlanta Falcons trading away their franchise quarterback it, it is tough it, it really is I'm going to say uh, for the Atlanta Falcons and let's transition now into the pros and cons for both of them, or for the Atlanta Falcons. The pros, you get a third-round pick. Okay, I, I mean, that's it, – it could be helpful. It could be helpful. You never know what could happen from that. Uh, and you get an abundant cap space in 2023. So this year, you're going to have to eat up a lot of Matt Ryan's contract. Next year as well, which we're going to be talking about in the cons. But they're they're set up. Like, they're, they're big things held, uh, holding them back for the last couple of seasons was Julio Jones and Matt Ryan the big contracts, and you saw year after year after year, oh gosh, I would say for four, three or four straight off seasons, they signed almost no one, no one significant in the off season just because they didn't have any money. And now they got rid of Julio Jones and now they get rid of Matt Ryan. So uh, it sucks for now, but in 2023 and moving on, they're, they're finally going to be in that spot where they can make a splash and free agency. Now let's talk a little bit about the cons for the Atlanta Falcons. You lose your franchise quarterback. Yeah, you got a hole to fill there. I know that you got um, Marcus Mariota, but you know it, it's not comparable to Matt Ryan. 
Uh, you take on $40 million in dead money. I know that's, uh, you know, $54 million for the Colts is, is much worse, but the Colts are actually getting a quarterback out of it, and the Falcons are just getting nothing out of it. So they're, take, they're taking on $40 million over the next couple of seasons. And then uh, the last con as well is uh, you add a quarterback to the long list of positions to improve. I mean, this team needs improvement on uh, the defensive line. They need improvement on the offensive line. They need improvement at wide receiver. There's so many things and holes that this team needs to fill, and uh, it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for the Atlanta Falcons moving forward, especially in 2022. Uh, leave your thoughts and your comments down below. Let me know what are the pros and cons and your opinions of, of the Colts and for the Falcons for this Matt Ryan trade. And who do you think won this trade? In my opinion, this is coming from a Falcons fan. The Colts, by far, I feel like won that trade. Uh, but yeah, leave your comments down below and, and let me know your opinions and your thoughts.